Luigi's Palace in Venice. And this impressive red sandstone building just to your front is the People's Palace. The People's Palace is a museum to Glasgow Life and that is also free to enter. So this is the first time a Dalton Fountain uh, has actually had its water works performing, so you're pretty lucky to see it that way. It is really, really beautiful. A gift from the Dalton the carpet was at the factory behind the business factory being made carpet for the Pink Pikes in Washington DC. It also made carpets which were fitted to the Pink Pikes. And it was special for the Pink Pikes. So Glasgow Green used to have other things on there. We had prop concert transmit, hence the reason all the grass is different colours because we had all the wooden mats for the people would stand on it. And next month we have the World Bagpipe Championship, which is held two days in August. And that is on an annual basis, but this is the first time we've held the championships for the team years. So this is stop number five, and this is for the People's Palace to go to If you want to go off here, you're more than welcome to go off and have a wee wonder about it. that we had on Glasgow Green and there was a several plays made of it and it's called the Steamy. The Steamy is a wash house and that is where the, the ladies of Glasgow come down and do their washing before the days of the washing machine and they would do their washing and they hang the washing out onto the green. Right through this gap on the left you'll see that monument to Nelson. For James Watt, he was walking through here one day and there is a memorial stone on the left side of the pathway. This is where he had the Eureka moment. That was the walking through. He saw the steamies and he saw the hot papers coming off the steamies. And it would condense and it would go here. This is where his idea of setting the condenser to the steam engine. So if you walk along the pathway in the middle, up to that centre point, there is a stone dedicated to James Watt. As we leave Glasgow Green, we're going to turn left and we're running problem with social housing. Social housing, this is developed because Glasgow used to have a lot of high, tall, high-end buildings. And it was realised that these buildings were not very good for the social mind of the people. So once you get into your place, your room, you have your house, that was it, you never saw any to the next morning. So these are more acceptable to make a lot of work for our social business. The next building is a different uh, kind of building, and it's a red sandstone, nice old matter. And the next to that is a small light colour building just coming up. And this is the first Episcopalian church in the in there. Episcopalians have not had music in their church, and so they've got an organ in there with a steam leak and a whistle. So they called that the whistling church. Now in Scotland we have a different legal system from the rest of the UK and this is the High Court area, the Rutland Clinton's the High Court and used to the South Prison. So the three verdicts we have in Scots law, one is guilty, one is not guilty and the other verdict is not proven. we not proven basically means we know you did it, we just can't prove it, so where you go and do it again. Madeline Smith, when she murdered her allegedly, her, her lover, Peter and Blair, she was tried in the High Court in Edinburgh and she was found not proven. She then emigrated to the United States and died at the age of 93 in New York. So let's get turn, that's the operation, the new High Court directly in front, and as we turn onto Jail Square, the old high court, the original one that is on your right pillars. You see that archway, through the archway you see that one. That's what clever arch to your left. And if people were given a death sentence, they were told they were going to face the body, and that's the last sight you saw with the black bag and put in the So the last person to be properly executed here is a doctor, Edward Richard. 
so that was in 1865. He murdered his mother-in-law, and then a month later he murdered his wife. Slowly poisoning with uh, a slower poison arsenic. Something like that. 80,000 to 100,000 Glaswegians come down here to witness the public hanging. It was the last one. So they used to sell trinkets at hangings, so small gifts and things like that. Gold in the days before television and computers and Nintendos, so you had to do something to entertain yourself. And all they come down here with their kids and families have a wee party and celebrate the hanging. Nothing like a good hanging in the city. And this goes the last one. still been there and it's a nice place to go in and you get the light music. It's quite an atmospheric place. If you look in front of you, you see the buildings just on the right off side of the Clyde. You see them with balconies. All these buildings with balconies, obviously they're apartments. And then you get to the far side of the top of the two cycles are. And you see a building with no balconies. It's a kind of light coloured sandstone. And that is St Andrew's Cathedral. And that is the mm, Turning up to stop number six, and that will be for us in a bit of time. performing in the Glasgow Panopticon Theatre, which is the oldest uh, musical theatre in the country. And he was performing on stage unknown to his father. He then emigrated to uh, Stan Laurel to the United States, and he formed the famous partnership of Laurel and Happy. So Stan Laurel performed here first, and then went across the Atlantic and made his fortune. Now, Stan, stop six is where this will be a shopping centre, which is the one you see on the left, and it's the largest and last covered in the area. Go to the site of a former railway station, and that railway station coming up to us. It's a large shopping centre now, and where we are sitting used to be the approach roads to the tracks into the station. On the other side, I had a fantastic, beautiful hotel. <coughs> and the only thing I've got in the context is that I have a small building, and that was the headquarters of the Glasgow, Glasgow Subway. As we go through this junction, you can see a red sandstone building on the main road. Now, in the centre building, roughly where the bus stop is on the right, that is where James McGill is from. Red. And 
change color to blue. The purpose of a fuse box was to be electrical communication, radio communication. We used to eliminate the light in front of the fuse box and that is where the console would be running.